One of the dirtiest jobs in the wrestling business is the role of a manager. Representing WWE superstars, these positions require coaching, cheating, distracting, and sometimes getting physically involved in a match. There have been 10 times where a WWE manager has received a brutal beatdown at the hands of a superstar. 10 times superstar managers got manhandled. A beatdown for Lita. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H formed the heel tandem known as the two-man power trip shortly after WrestleMania 17. In order to make Stone Cold a true heel, the duo staged a brutal beatdown on the Hardy Boys and their manager Lita. Lita suffered from two pedigrees, multiple kicks, and then several vicious chair shots from Austin before he delivered a stunner to cap things off. The beatdown went on for so long that it was hard to watch. The Weasel Suit Attack Bobby the Brain Heenan had been a thorn in the Ultimate Warrior's side for several years. Ultimate Warrior finally got a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with Heenan, and he didn't hold back any punches. The Warrior threw Heenan all over the ring, completely destroying him in the process. He then dressed Heenan up in a weasel suit before continuing the attack and humiliating Heenan even further. Edge tortures Paul Bearer. The best way to piss off Kane was to attack his manager and on-screen father, Paul Bearer. While Bearer had suffered multiple attacks through the years, none have been as torturous as when Edge held him captive for a whole episode of SmackDown. He wielded a tied up bearer around the arena, beat him around, and even rolled him down a flight of stairs. Edge continued to play mind games with Kane and even caused Kane and accidentally hurt bearer even further. Paul Heyman's kendo stick beat down. Once on his side, Paul Heyman may have instantly regretted turning on CM Punk. As Heyman sat in a wheelchair in the center of the ring, CM Punk used the moment to his advantage. After dumping Heyman out of his chair, the immobilized manager could only lay and take a non-stop barrage of kendo stick shots. The shots were loud and painful, shown through the hits and the look of agony on Heyman's face. Marlena takes a trip to China. When China debuted in the WWE, she was a woman's wrestler like fans had never seen before. As Goldust Valet Marlena stood ringside, China came up from behind and proceeded to choke Marlena out while Triple H looked on from the ring. China had to be physically pulled away by security before she could finish the job, but the damage had already been done. China would continue her assaults on Marlena for multiple weeks before officially teaming up with Triple H. Mr. Fuji gets decapitated. Mr. Fuji has had a long list of clients, including Yokozuna and the Powers of Pain. When he sold the contracts to Demolition, Mr. Fuji tried to use the Powers of Pain to win the titles from them. At WrestleMania 5, Fuji joined the tag team match to make a handicap battle, but he may have been better off outside the ring. Fuji fell victim to the Demolition Decapitator and was dismantled in the ring before getting the pin for the huge loss. Tensai turns on Sakamoto. Tensai was as tough as they come when he debuted in the WWE. He was aggressive and he didn't care who he assaulted, even if it was his own manager. Sakamoto suffered at the hands of Tensai for several weeks. Tensai would often push him around and manhandle him in the ring. One week, his aggression got the worst of him as Tensai terrorized Sakamoto with a lengthy attack. That would be the last we saw of Sakamoto. Jimmy Hart's haircut. With a loud mouth, loud clothes, and an annoying bullhorn, legendary WWE manager Jimmy Hart was just asking for the attack. That's exactly what happened during the Honky Tonk Man's feud with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. When Hart tried to attack Beefcake, Beefcake turned the tide and laid into Hart. Not only did he apply his penetrated sleeper hold, but the barber snipped a few hairs off of Hart's signature mane. Jose Lothario's Selfie During Shawn Michaels' impressive title run in 1996, he decided to bring his longtime friend and trainer, Jose Lothario, to be by his side. Lothario would often try to avoid superstar confrontations until the 1996 Survivor Series, 
When Psycho Sid hijacked the WWE camera to attack Michaels, Lothario couldn't stand back. Hopping up on the apron, Sid had no hesitation in knocking Lothario back down with a hard camera shot to the skull. No love for Brother Love. One of The Undertaker's original managers was not just Paul Bearer. He also had Brother Love by his side. In 2003, Brother Love tried to reunite with The Undertaker on an episode of SmackDown, but the whole plan backfired. The Undertaker wanted nothing to do with the obnoxious manager as he lifted him up and tombstoned him into the mat. The Undertaker let that relationship rest in peace. Well, there you have it. Some of those attacks were pretty brutal. What are some of your favorites? What ones do you think went a little too far? Are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Sportster on YouTube.